Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today performed Eid al Adha prayers at Al Sakhir Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's sons, senior royal family members, senior state officials, ambassadors of GCC countries to Bahrain, as well as senior officers of the BDF, Interior Ministry, and the National Guard also took part in the prayers. الله أكبر 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 In his sermon, the Imam stressed the noble significance of Eid al-Adha and prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty King Hamad, guide him on the right path of success, and bless him with abundant good health and happiness. He also wished the kingdom further progress and prosperity under His Majesty the King's leadership. عيد فضيل ينبغي أن تتصالح فيه القلوب قبل أن تتصافح فيه الأكف وأن تتعانق فيه الأرواح قبل أن تتعانق فيه الأجساد ثم صلوا وسلموا رحمكم الله على من أمركم ربكم بالصلاة والسلام عليه فقال إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى أزواجه وذريته وارض اللهم عن الخلفاء الراشدين الأئمة المهديين والصحابة أجمعين والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين واجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم وفق لي أمرنا لما تحبه وترضاه من الأقوال والأفعال وكريم الخصال اللهم بارك له في عمره وصحته وعافيته وانصر به دينك وشريعتك وسنة نبيك صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم انصر إخواننا المجاهدين في سبيلك المرابطين على الثغور اللهم كن لهم معينا ونصيرا ومؤيدا وظهيرا اللهم وتقبل من مات منهم شهيدا عندك يا رب العالمين اللهم سلم الحجاج والمعتمرين واعنهم على أداء مناسكهم واغفر ذنبهم وآتهم سؤلهم واجعل حجهم مبرورا وسعيهم مشكورا عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العلي العظيم يذكركم واشكروه على عموم نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وتقبل الله منا ومنكم صالح الأقوال والأعمال. His Majesty the King then exchanged greetings and good wishes with worshippers and thanked them for their congratulations and sincere supplications, wishing the kingdom and its people many happy returns on the occasion. The worshippers extended deepest congratulations and good wishes to His Majesty the King on this occasion praying to Allah the Almighty to bless him with abundant good health and happiness, protect him and guide him on the path of success for the best interests of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations. They voiced pride in His Majesty King Hamad's sound approach of consolidating the kingdom's status and effective regional, Arab and international role. They lauded the landmark achievements and gains attained by the kingdom and the progress boom it is witnessing in various fields during His Majesty King Hamad's prosperous era.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing him continued health and happiness and many happy returns. His Majesty the King sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid al-Adha. His Royal Highness expressed good wishes to His Majesty the King, prosperity for the kingdom and its people, and many happy returns for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, wishing him continued health and happiness, as well as many happy returns for the Arab and Islamic nations. Telephone conversations were held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid al-Adha with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, His Majesty King Abdullah II of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Governor of the Eastern Region in Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Saud bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the Governor of Tabuk Region in Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Fahad bin Sultan bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. During the calls, His Majesty the King exchanged with them good wishes, wishing them continued health and happiness, and their countries and people, and the Arab and Islamic countries many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of Gulf, Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing them abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a, congrat rather a congratulatory cable from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid al-Adha in which he prayed the Almighty bestow him with abundant health and bless him in carrying out his duties and all that benefits the kingdom. In response, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, thanking him for his noble sentiments, wishing him and Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of Gulf, Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing them abundant health and many happy returns. A telephone conversation was held today between His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. During the call, they exchanged congratulations on the advent of Eid al-Adha wishing him abundant health and to Kuwait and its people further progress and prosperity. The Emir of Kuwait thanked His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his sentiments, wishing him continued health and to Bahrain and its people more progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister held a similar telephone call with the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and another with his Kuwaiti counterpart, His Highness Sheikh Jabr Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah, and exchange with them Eid al-Adha greetings and good wishes. And a telephone conversation was held today between His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and Omani Deputy Prime Minister Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed, during which they exchanged good wishes on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing him abundant health and many happy returns. They exchanged congratulations and good wishes on Eid al-Adha, wishing their countries and people, the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. They also discussed bilateral relations binding the two countries and ways of further strengthening joint cooperation in all fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of Gulf, Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing them continued health and many happy returns. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, praised the great success of the Hajj season this year and the efforts exerted by the government of the custodian of the two holy mosques to provide security, safety, and tranquility 
to the pilgrims, which exceeded 1.5 million. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, who was met by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, at the Mina Palace, following the performance of his Hajj rituals, conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud. He also expressed his pride and appreciation for the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud and the efforts to ensure all the possibilities and services to facilitate the performance of Hajj for Muslims from all over the world. El Mullah expressed his pride in the successful organizational plans adopted by the government of the custodian of the two holy mosques in the various fields of security, health, nutrition and media and the comprehensive care provided to the pilgrims. He praised the progress of Hajj service, including the use of modern technological techniques and logistical arrangements to facilitate an organized performance of Hajj rituals. Based on the statement of the severing political ties with Qatar on the 5th of June 2017 and the implementation of related directives of the Cabinet for all concerned ministries and government organizations, the Ministry of Interior announced the suspension of the issuance of entry visas for Qatari nationals. Qatari students who study in Bahrain would be excluded, along with those with valid visas. It is worth mentioning that the decision wasn't taken because of Qatari nationals who share brotherly ties with Bahrainis, but as a result of irresponsible and hostile acts of Qatari authorities that don't consider the rights of neighboring countries or the principles of international law.